So I just want to do a quick video and show you how to fix the internal sun visor on one of these built Explorer helmets. Um, this is definitely going to void the warranty, but um, because you have to kind of pull the foam around inside the helmet to get to the the uh, switch here, the internal switch, which is right there. So what's happened is, so this piece here is the piece that the visor goes into. The visor slides in uh, this end here and clips into this piece, and this is the piece that the visor goes up and down on. You can see this other end of it down here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, um, <laughs> this is hard, but it's, it's broke. You can see that open end there. So this piece here, this kind of cross, this kind of cross member here that's coming across, that is supposed to go into uh, this little, this hole here where that's broke. Um, you can see there's kind of a, you know, little piece here. But so that that goes into that hole, and then and then that way when you raise the switch, I hope this is helpful because no one else has done this. <laughs> but this and and I I kind of can see why because this is really difficult to film. Okay, so here's me moving the switch on the outside, so the switch goes. Uh, up and down. So that's supposed to go through that hole on the end of that and then in turn it raises this up and down when you move the switch. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense. So since that's broken on the end, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, there's this little metal uh, piece coming through right here, my fingers on. That little metal piece and then there's a hole in the end of this. I'm going to hook that on that metal piece. So it's not going to be going through that hole, but it's going to be basically hooked on that metal piece and hopefully that will fix it. I will uh, let you know here when I'm done. Let me hook this up so you can actually see uh, what I'm doing. Okay, so there it is hooked to that little uh, metal piece coming through. And um, now you can see when I slide the switch, now it all moves again together. And I don't think that will ever come off of there or break again, to be honest with you. I don't know why they don't do it this way in the first place. Because that little plastic um, on, the, on the end of, um, you know, that broke on the end of this piece is really flimsy and thin. That was bound to break at some point. So uh, just hooking it to that metal which is part of the spring that makes it spring back and forth is what that is it's just um, the piece that comes through that connects to this makes it want to go back up the the visor so uh, I really hope this was helpful um, I, I think that this is a success uh, just need to uh, put the foam back put it all back together and um, re-glue the only part that's glued this this foam uh, you know the foam insert inside the helmet is it's not glued in it's just it's held in there because there's some ear pieces uh, these ear pieces are glued in these are the pieces that the in you know the washable button in uh, inserts button to and these are glued in so you want to take some uh, you know really strong uh, adhesive and and glue these back in so that they aren't going anywhere but um, that's the only piece that's glued in and it's only for about a square inch here is all so uh, other than that I think this is this is fixed so I'm happy about that and saved myself from having to buy another helmet because I have to have that sun visor it's important it's nice I really like the sun visor to, uh, for um, you know, easy transitions uh, when it, you know, you're going into a shady, dark canyon, you can just pop it up. You don't have to pull over and switch visors or anything like that. So 
Uh, I really hope this was helpful. <laughs> it was really hard to film. Um, subscribe if you're new. More videos like this to come. Like if you like it. God bless. We'll see you next time.